So the welder that we'll be using today, uh, this is a Vivor uh, welder. It's an actually very inexpensive um, three-way welder. So this will do um, TIG welding, it will do MIG welding, gasless or uh, flux core, which is I'm used to using flux core today. And it will also do uh, stick welding. And so it's got a, the option to flip your polarities right here. Um, I do know some basics about welding. <laughs> so we'll see how this all turns out. So right now I have it already loaded with the wire that came with it. It's, it's a it's a flux core uh, wire feed. And I've got that all loaded. I think that's a, a one pound reel that it comes with. Um, I put the, the gun on the negative feed, which I believe is how we're supposed to run uh, gasless MIG anyway. And so my positive feed actually is going to my ground clamp. Uh, it comes with these glasses. I'm not going to use those. I actually bought a, an Amazon um, a welding helmet. I've got welding gloves. I bought a, a new wire brush. Uh, it comes with it comes with a wire brush that's you know pretty basic. <laughs> and then I have this Evolution miter saw, which actually has the all-in-one blade on it. So it's a it's a wood and metal blade. And so we'll we'll put that to the test today, cutting some pretty thick square stock. So so I have these uh, the new forks that we got from Vivo.com. Uh, these things have been working really really well. I've actually beat them up pretty pretty good, and uh, they've held held true to their, their strength. So the spreader here that kind of helps st steady the, the forks, the smallest that it will go, you can see here, it's just a little, little too long. So what I need to do is, this is actually, this, wel this is welded on here. And so I need to cut this uh, piece of square stock here and the piece that, that goes on the inside. I need to cut these shorter. So my plan is actually to cut a section from like here to here, so cut a piece of this square stock out of both of these, and then I'll cut the end off of the little one. And then I'm gonna reuse the end, I'm gonna weld it back to the to this part so I don't have to move this nut. So I have this golf cart. Somebody at one point put a little trailer hook up so you can hook your little yard trailers to it, which has been great. But what I really need to do most often is move my wood splitter around. So I use this a lot, and I also need a hitch on the back of this thing. And so, of course, I could just, uh, round this hole out, I could make this hole bigger on the bracket and then, you know, take the actual hitch out and just put it in there. But then you've got a big giant hole where the trailer's, you know, sloshing around in there. So I thought instead what I would do is make the hitch a little higher, even though I'm using a drop hitch here, this is just what I happen to have. <laughs> we'll make the, we'll use that piece of square stock and we'll, we'll bring this up a little bit and then we'll make a, a mount where I can slide a hitch right on top. So we'll start with this, get this cut up, and see if we can weld that back together. <laughs> Should be interesting. And then we'll use some of the extra metal that we cut off of that to build our little hitch uh, thing here. So let's get started.
all right not bad uh, this is a little little learning curve with the with the welder to get the the right voltage uh, to not blow right through this thing I poked a lot of holes in it before and then I had to fill them in with weld and then grind it out but it turned out okay and I think it's pretty solid so that'll uh, work perfectly for this and once the paint dries I think you'll you'll barely be able to notice not too bad the next part of the project I'm gonna use the bracket that's here so I'm gonna grind some of this paint off of here I'm gonna use this extra piece I cut off and we'll weld that on there maybe something like that so my plan is to use this as kind of a, a vertical receiver so I'm gonna put it on like this but then and this this actually will fit uh, right over top of it I'm gonna use this same uh, square stock here but I'm gonna cut it off and weld it off the bottom here on a 90 so it'll actually pop down on it this way so it'll sit something like that at least that's the plan uh, we'll see we'll see what happens Well, I'm pretty happy with, with how everything turned out. Uh, the, 
it, it wasn't easy to get any weld on the back side of this so I actually did off camera um, I did try to get a weld on the inside um, edge of the of the tube uh, so that seems like it's on there pretty good I mean that that splitter is a it weighs a decent amount and you know pulling it around like that it puts a lot of of pressure you know the way that this is angled you got all your weight out here so it's putting a lot of weight on this thing you know trying to pull it off and it held up pretty good i drove it around the yard a little bit up and down the hill and, and it seems to seems to hold so i'm not going to be hauling any huge trailers around or anything like that obviously this golf cart can't do that anyway so uh, just to move the splitter around the yard i think this is going to work really well so this welder it really it makes things pretty simple uh the mig mig feature it actually can do tig and it can also do um, your stick welder so there's another attachment so you can you take the the gun off and then it has a a, a clamp that you can hold a, a welding stick with a welding rod which actually is the the way that i learned how to weld so i probably should try that out too not going to do tig welding probably um, you can also hook up uh, gas on the back here and use a regular core um, wire for the wire feed honestly for whatever i have to do around here i'm not professionally welding this thing worked just fine um, it, it, it's attaching gluing metal together that's that's all i care about so you have um, pretty simple dials on the front of it it's got voltage i kept the voltage really low and that seemed to be work a little bit better that metal is pretty thin so i was blowing a lot of holes in it and i have the wire speed turned down pretty low as well um, and so this is just i don't know what i what i found to, to work with the application i had but um, i don't really know <laughs> what this is burn back I'm not sure what that adjusts. I really have no complaints. So for these cheap welders, I mean, this one, Vivor, uh, this website is, is I, I've said this before, it's kind of become my new favorite website for homesteading stuff. They have everything homesteading. I got the forks uh, from them and then this welder. They have a bunch of different models. They have cheaper models that just do the MIG, the wire feed, and then they have the this more, a little bit more expensive one, but still super cheap that does all three. And so they have a little bit more flexibility with this, which which I kind of like. I might do some st some stick welding on some other projects. So this uh, this may prompt me to clear out a different area in my shop and build a metal welding table. Uh, I did this out here on the ground because I don't really have a good spot to weld in my shop. I have a wood shop with sawdust everywhere, and uh, this you know using flux core uh, weld, you're you get a lot of spatter, and plus I don't know what I'm doing really. I haven't welded in you know 30 years, so you know i don't want to start a fire so i may start to, i may build a, a little section build a metal covered table that i could use for for welding projects and stuff so a lot more to come uh using this welder i have a lot more projects a lot more things planned and it's amazing what it opens up when you can weld you can do a whole lot of things and uh, i'm excited maybe you can build little go-karts for the kids you know you could i could uh, build better better wagons and fix things that break and add things to the tractor and there's so many things you can do with metal so hopefully you guys enjoy the little the, the little projects today we got those pallet forks uh working much better and that's uh how i supply the wood burner with with wood using an ibc tote cage and filling that up i have a video where i where i shared that and then now i can move the the split around with a golf cart which I've got wood all over this property, so that'll help me out uh, quite a bit. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. I will take all criticism and feedback. I, like I said, it's been a long time since I have welded, so if you have feedback for me, advice, I will take it. I have no problem with that. Go ahead and throw that stuff down in the comments. Check out vbor.com for this welder, as well as many other cool things uh, that might be good Christmas presents, good birthday presents, or just good things to buy for the homestead. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.